Okay, everybody, we're going to try to get this done in less than two minutes. Here's what we're going to do. Maximum, a minimum, and the x-intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to type that equation into our calculator. So go ahead and do that. And we're going to use the calculate menu, which is second trace. Here we go. So uh, we've got the equation in. If we press graph, we see that the window that we're, uh, is not lo uh, tall enough or small enough. So we're going to change the y minimum and maximum. That was from pressing the window button. We're going to go down to y min, go down to negative 100, go to y max, positive 100, and we're going to go by tens. Now we can actually see the max and the min. In fact, we'll go a little bit taller. We'll go up to uh, 130 just to make sure we can see it. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to press second, calculate. We're going to go to maximum and it's saying left bound so we're going to go to the left side of that maximum point and press enter we're going to go to the right side of this maximum point and press enter and then we're going to take a guess by scrolling back there it is and it's pretty easy it goes gives, gives us the maximum value now to find minimum we're going to do the same thing second calculate you would go to minimum and you would do the same exact thing except you'd be working with this point so left bound And then we're going to go to the right side of that minimum point, and then we're going to take a guess right over there, and there we are. Then to find uh, the x-intercept, second calculate, zero, and there are three, one, two, and three. So if we, look, if we wanted to find this one, for example, we would go to the left side, and we would press enter, right side, enter, and guess, and we would do the same thing for the other two.